In this video, we'll look at the equation for CH3COOH plus H2O. This is called ethanoic acid, also called acetic acid. You'll often see ethanoic acid written like this, but sometimes you'll see this formula here. They're equivalent. There's two carbons in each. There's four hydrogens in each, and there are two oxygens. But this here gives us a little bit more information. If you look at the structure here, you can see why it's written this way. Here's your C with three hydrogens right here, CH3, and then the COOH. We have the COOH. And this part right here is the carboxylic acid. This is what makes it an acid. This hydrogen right here, this is the one we're talking about, that'll dissociate or break off and give H+. Plus, and that's what makes ethanoic acid an acid. So we put CH3COOH in water, and this H breaks off. So that'll give us an H+. Plus. Then we'll have CH3COO. And we have the H plus here. That means that this is going to be negative. This is called the acetate ion. Since they're dissolved in water, we need to write a little AQ here. It means aqueous or dissolved in water. And note that CH3COOH, it's a weak acid. And that means it doesn't break apart entirely. Most of this, in fact, stays as CH3COOH only a portion of it breaks apart. So this is an equilibrium equation in that sense. So we need to write an arrow going this way. So some of this is breaking apart into H plus and CH3COO minus, and then some of this is coming back together. But in general, most of it stays in this form right here. For the H plus that is aqueous, that's dissolved in that water, we can write another equation to show what happens with the H plus. The H plus will combine with the H2O to form H3O plus. That's called the hydronium ion. So sometimes you'll see this equation here written with instead of H plus, you'll have the H3O plus. This is Dr. B with the equation for CH3COOH plus H2O. And thanks for watching.